Hey, welcome to Click. Lovely to see you out in the sunshine. Lovely to see you too, Laura. How are you doing? And you, I'm good. The sunshine is wonderful. Mm, yes. But of course, at this time of year, we're usually enjoying the Los Angeles sun, yeah. getting ready for E3, the massive video games convention. Yeah, but even though we're not in LA, we're darn well going to dress like it. Second year running, LA won't be crammed with gamers because that whole event has been moved online. Yeah, I do hope that Hollywood has another industry to fall back on. Now, all of this means that Mark Chislak can't live the LA life while he covers the expo, but hilariously, he still has to keep LA hours. It's his report. But that is about to change. Take a look at these. They look pretty real, don't they? But of course, these are completely fabricated digital renders made using a new creator tool from Epic Games. My name is Kai. I'm a metahuman, just like all. Yes, the technology used to create these characters, these digital renderings of humans, has just become a lot easier, faster and accessible to more of us. Alex Humphreys has been finding out more. Great stuff. Now, one of the big differences between playing a game and watching a movie is that you, the player, can become the star of it. In fact, many games allow you to customise your avatar so you can just become a virtual version of yourself. But that hasn't always been the case. Kessewa Brown has been taking a look at how far black representation truly has come in games in the last few years and what one mother and daughter have been doing to tackle the issue. That was Kessewa Brown. And that's it from us from Los Angeles. No, no, sorry, London. <laughs> Still, it's been lovely, isn't it? It has been lovely. And as ever, you can keep up with the team on social media. Find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at BBC Click. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.